Thank you. My name is Paul Gessing. And uh, before we get started, and I actually focus on the housing supply and housing related issues in my comments, but before we get into that, I do think it's relevant to recognize the impact COVID-19 pandemic had uh, both on people and society and social connections, as well as housing policy directly and inflation. Furthermore, Albuquerque is increasingly a landlocked city. We don't recognize this because New Mexico is known for its wide open spaces, but with the uh, Air Force Base, the petroglyphs, the volcanoes, Native American spaces, and the mountains to the east of us, uh, their land use management is going to become a critical factor in solving these housing issues. That being said, uh, I work to analyze economic policy issues and try to point out ways in which the government actually stands in the way of increasing our housing stock. And I want to focus on one is we tax gross receipts tax on home building in our state that is not common, uh, commonly done in that way or at those levels in other places. Uh, same for apartment complexes as well. Uh, earlier this year, in fact, in January, new costly building codes were adopted by the Construction Industries Division right here in New Mexico that further will increase the price of single family houses and apartment buildings. So another regulatory way in which the housing prices are being driven up by government policy. Uh, I do believe that we need to do a better job in enforcing laws, uh, public vacancy, but general crime as well. And that will free up and make housing more attractive for all people in all walks of life in this central corridor. For example, the high rise at San Mateo and, uh, and Central. And my hope is that that succeeds. That is a huge building that could do a lot to improve and increase the housing stock. But by no means is that alone. There are places uh, throughout downtown and other areas of town along Central that could be reopened and improved as an attractive housing place if crime was uh, reduced. Uh, zoning and land use laws, again, as Albuquerque has expanded to its natural barriers, we do need to address and be more flexible in uh, those land use laws and zoning in order to provide for apartment buildings and other higher rises that might infringe upon some people's uh, ability to see the mountains and whatnot. And that just has to be a reality and it's a difficult political conversation to have. Uh, while the mayor hasn't been mentioned and I often uh, disagree with him on, on a variety of issues, his efforts to revitalize hotels and buildings and improve those for housing uh, is worth uh, expanding upon and considering and supporting, I believe, because uh, repurposing, especially old and unused hotel rooms, can do a lot for our housing uh, supply increase. I'll conclude with saying that uh, the homeless situation is not a simple issue. This is a very complicated uh, thing that is caused by many different factors, mental illness, drug use, family breakdown, the disconnectedness of society. I am skeptical that government can truly <coughs> solve this problem, but it can get barriers out of the way and mitigate against its wor worst aspects and try to improve those things. But it's up to us as individuals operating in society. My family has been impacted directly by homelessness. Many of yours perhaps have been. It's not easy. It's not a simple situation, even as a family trying to address it. So understanding it's a complex, often uh, dicey problem that is not easily solvable by government policymakers is worth noting as well. Thank you.